So for in this video, I am going to be making fruit from old antique soda bottles. So to start it off, I have to preheat all my bottles in a garage that you see there uh, to about 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. I make what's called a collar. It's just a little blue bit of glass onto a pipe. And then I can go ahead and heat that up in the glory hole, which is just a reheating chamber. Uh, that's about 2,000 degrees. A little bit hotter. And I have a wad of wet newspaper that's been soaked in water that I can push the glass back. Uh, I really need to condense it down, especially that Coke ball. It's going to become an apple. So I really want to get it short and squat, which is a very different shape from the Coke shape, Coke bottle shape. And I just use my newspaper to do that. Place the little apple foot. And then I want to start working on the other end, so uh, my boyfriend's about to bring me a printing, which is another little bit of glass. And all these little bits of glass have to be recycled bottles as well. So I'll preheat those and make them ahead of time just to use them. If I use furnace blown glass that you usually use, it will just crack and break. They aren't the same type. So just a little bit of water on a groove at the tip and then it'll break off. And then I can start working on the apple part. So I puffed it up a little, made a tiny hole, and now I'm plugging that up. That is a piece of brown bottle glass. I'm going to attach for the stand. And then I did one uh, that's green right there. And that's this little leaf. I was carving in a little texture. So at the end, I'll show it done and you'll see the actual color. Uh, but right now it's still maybe 1500 degrees, so it's still toasty. And the other one I have is going to be a banana. That white bit on the end there is just some um, kiln bricks, so part of the garage I kind of got it stuck a bit on there. So you'll see in a minute I'll go ahead and carve it. And the banana is in some ways easier to shape. I don't have it condense it down as much. But I also find it harder to really get the tip looking like a banana. So it's popped off the end. Again, using that newspaper, a little air. And we'll punny it up. And work on the other end. So that's that when it's hot, and then when they cool down, so you can see that the label is still intact because it's that actual glass label, and everything's completely sealed off. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe and like this video.